What's going on, people? It's the Bear here once again. So, I was going to say it about this yesterday and all, and you know, I was going to do a video about this and all, and uh, I was going to do a video about it, matter of fact, Sunday. And, uh, and for, you know, for some reason, you know, I couldn't get around to it because my phone died. So I was going to do a video about it yesterday, and then my phone started acting up. I had a virus and all that, and, you know, and my phone just acted real stupid. So I'm going to talk about it today. The Patriots beat the, whoa, hold on. Let me get back to where I was. I think I still got a virus on this phone. The Patriots beat the uh, Tennessee Titans. I think it was like 35 to 14 or something like that. You know. What was surprising to me about that game was it was actually the first quarter when the Titans scored, uh, you know, in the middle of the first quarter. When the Patriots been holding back teams from scoring in the first quarter for like nine quarters, you know, and uh, I was pretty upset at first because the Tigers was up seven to nothing and I was like, oh my goodness, you know, but I, I found out something about what the Patriots do and this is the same thing what they done with the Bills and stuff like that, you know. And a lot of other teams. They let teams get comfortable and think that they you know, that they're gonna do some big things. You know? Like when the Titans was up seven and you know, seven and nothing and stuff like that. Then the Patriots just come back. It's like in the third quarter, they just come back. Just like they did in the Super Bowl. They just come back. You know? They let teams get comfortable. Being on top for a minute, and then the Patriots just come. That's just something that they just, just they just do. And I found that out about the Patriots. They do surprising comebacks, you know, and uh, they done it to a lot of teams. And you know, the Titans in the divisional playoffs was another one. You know, one of those teams that they surprised. They just came back. You know, just uh, score at the score, score. James White just scoring at. The, I mean, man, it was just unbelievable. Tom Brady is the greatest of all time, and no one would still recognize his skill. I was on Facebook uh, every time the Patriots were scoring touchdowns and things like that, and I was just looking through the whole feed, the whole news feed, and everybody was just talking about how, you know. The Patriots got the refs in their pockets and things like that. Oh, my God. The hate was real. On Facebook, the hate was real. Uh, I'm not going to make a long video. This is going to be probably less than five minutes. But I just want to say, for those of you, even if you hate the Patriots, even if you despise the Patriots, you have to understand one thing. Okay? Even if you despise them. Bill Belichick is a hell of a coach. And even though he might go to another team, and Tom Brady may retire soon, or whatever the case may be, they will always be the greatest of all time. Tom Brady will be the greatest quarterback of all time. Bill Belichick, the greatest head coach of all time. Because now you can see everybody wants Bill Belichick now. You know, if he leaves, somebody wants to pick him up real quick. You know, so um, he just has skills, you know. So I'm going to be looking forward. This may be a little bit over five, five minutes. I'm going to be looking forward to the to the Patriots and Jaguars game this Sunday. Uh, it will be on uh, CBS at 3.05. I'm going to be looking forward to it because... The Patriots is my hometown, you know, my, oh, my, my, hey, Patriots is my favorite team, and I, I'm just a Patriots fan for life, and I want to see the Patriots and the Eagles in the Super Bowl. 
I actually wanted to see the Patriots and the Steelers in the AFC Championship, but that didn't happen. But, you know, Patriots and the Jaguars will still be a good match. So, all right, y'all, I'm done. Like I said, it's just going to be a little bit over five minutes, and now I'm done. It's the Bear and I'm out. Peace.